Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. In May 2010, Osama bin Laden wrote a secret letter ordering his lieutenants to assassinate President Barack Obama, but not, crucially, Joe Biden, America's vice president, who would take charge in the event of Obama's death. Biden, declared the world's then most wanted man, is totally unprepared for that post, which will lead the U.S. into a crisis. History had other plans. A year later, Obama had been laid and killed, a move opposed, funnily enough, by Joe Biden, who felt his president was moving too quickly. Almost a decade after that, Biden finally became commander-in-chief, triumphing over Donald Trump in arguably one of the most divisive presidential elections in U.S. history. But bin Laden was not altogether wrong in his assessment of Biden, who pulled out of the 2024 presidential race last night. He failed often and throughout his long life, and somehow almost always managed to come out on top. His rambling and incoherent performance in the first presidential debate of 2024 was one failure, too many, however. The world could see that he was not fit to lead the free world. Then last weekend a bullet ripped through the ear of Donald Trump as he campaigned for the presidency in Butler, Pennsylvania. Trump's defiant reaction in that moment, raising his fist and mouthing fight fight fight, was the most potent contrast possible to Biden's public frailty. To cap it all, as Nancy Pelosi, the former House Speaker, and Obama maneuvered against him, Biden caught a bad bout of COVID. He withdrew to his mansion in Rehoboth, Delaware, and finally accepted his fate. In truth, concerns about Biden's health had swirled around Washington long before he won the nomination in 2020. Democrats spent years dismissing talk of dementia or any other condition as Republican scuttlebutt, yet Biden's deteriorating mental and physical health ended up defining his presidency. It's an odd coincidence that a bout of COVID pushed Biden to call time on his presidency, since he might never have won the Oval Office had it not been for the pandemic. The lockdowns meant that Biden avoided excessive media scrutiny of his fitness for high office as he spent much of the year campaigning via Zoom calls from his basement in Delaware. He was also helped by Trump's erratic response to the crisis, which alarmed Americans as the economy crashed. In late May 2020, race riots erupted following the death of George Floyd under a policeman's knee in Minneapolis. Cities burned across America, and Trump proved himself unable to control the carnage. Biden successfully pitched himself as the candidate who could bring back normalcy, and won. Trump bitterly contested the result, which led to his supporters rioting on Capitol Hill on January 6. In his inauguration speech, Biden wisely appealed for unity. My whole soul is in this, he said. Bringing America together. Uniting our people. Uniting our nation. He duly began his presidency with a healthy 55% job approval score but his popularity only sank from there. At home, he sought to turbocharge America's economic recovery through massive government stimuli. He spent several trillion in his first term on his investing in America agenda. But massive government spending spurred inflation and voters quickly began to resent the high cost of living. Biden took the historic step of pulling American troops out of Afghanistan in the summer of 2021, thus ending a military intervention he had backed when it began more than two decades earlier. A majority of U.S. citizens supported the decision to end America's longest war, but the withdrawal proved shambolic. The Afghan government, which America had spent so many billions propping up, promptly collapsed. Americans felt humiliated by scenes of U.S. aircraft scrambling to escape as Afghans clung to the wheels, desperate to escape the victorious Taliban. By the end of August, the evacuation was complete, but Biden's poll numbers took a sharp nosedive and never recovered. Biden's Democrats performed better than expected in the 2022 midterms, keeping the Senate and only narrowly losing the House of Representatives. Democrats hoped it might spur a comeback and see off the threat of Donald Trump's return. Now such luck. Fairly or not, his presidency will be forever remembered for the innumerable videos of him campaigning haplessly in 2024, mumbling on stage or wandering aimless.